Hello everyone, and in this video, I will be going over the math for our shaders. So, the math is going to allow us to translate, rotate, scale our vertices. We're also going to be able to create 2D and 3D projections. So, there is a math library already created for us that will get the job done. And this is Java OpenGL Math Library. So, the link for the GitHub page will be in the description. And you can go ahead and download the zip file. Once the zip file is done downloading, you, should, you can open it. And you'll have JOML-Master. So go ahead and come, go into this folder and also go into source and here we're going to copy the org folder or just drag it into the source folder go ahead and copy files and folders so now that we have the math files within our program we can go ahead and adjust our code to fit with this so I'm going to start off with the shader and what we're going to do is create a new method. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this because it's practically the same, except I'm going to change int value to matrix for f value. Go ahead and import the class. And all we need to do is create a float buffer, buffer. And we're going to equal, we're going to set this to buffer utils, create float buffer. And now we can either use 4 times 4 or 16, whichever you prefer. I'm just going to go with 16. What a matrix 4F is, it's basically a 4 by 4, 4 columns and 4 rows of data of numbers and what this allows us to do is allows us to hold in all the information of the scale the translation the rotation and it also holds in all the values for the projection so without this we'd basically be needing to do a bunch of calculations for all of this to work okay so after explaining the what the matrix is, let's go ahead and add all the values to the buffer. And to do this, you could just do value dot get and just pass in our buffer. Don't forget to import float buffer as well. Okay, so all we have to do now is replace GL uniform one I with GL uniform matrix four F V and the location will be location transpose leave this at false and the value will be buffer now that we have finished the set uniform method we can go ahead and add the uniform to our shader. So we're going to go into our vertex shader and I'm going to add a uniform mat for projection. Basically what a mat for is the same thing I just explained in the shader class. It's a matrix 4F except it's OpenGL's way of having stuff. So instead of it being vector 3, it's vec 3, you know. So, after we have our projection, before vec 4 vertices of 1, or, yeah, make sure you multiply it with projection. So it should be projection times the vec4 
if you do it the other way around, you'll get some bizarre, weird things being rendered to the screen. Okay, so now that we have the shader class and our vertex shader finished, we can go ahead and get all of this set up within the main class. So, let's go ahead and create our first matrix. So, matrix 4F, I'll call it projection, equals new matrix 4F, and before you put that semicolon down, use dot ortho 2D. Now, the first one is going to be left, so we can do negative 640 divided by 2. The right is going to be 640 divided by 2. The bottom is going to be 480 divided by 2. And the top is going to be negative 480 divided by 2. The reason why we're using 640 is because this is the width of our window. And we're using divided by 2 for the left and right to set the origin of all of the graphics to the center of the width. Same goes for the top and bottom, or the bottom and top. 480, or 480, is the height of our window. And we're dividing this by 2 to set the origin to 0, or the center of our screen. So go ahead and import the class. And let's use it. So let's go ahead and do shader.setUniform. And our uniform name is projection. And the value will be projection. Now when we run, we should have a tiny little speck. This is normal. And this is because we are not scaling our model. So we can do this by adding dot scale at the end of our projection. So dot ortho 2D and then all of, all of our values. And before the semicolon, do dot scale. And we'll scale this up to 32. So we can go ahead and run. And there is our texture upside down. So another way you could approach this is go ahead and get rid of the scale. And we can create two new matrix, one for the scale, scale 32, and a blank matrix. I'm just going to call it target. So our scale will hold in the scale value, and the target will be the target of projection and scale multiplied together. So we could do it up here. Since we're not updating anything, we could do it outside of the game loop. So we can do projection dot multiply. And the first value will be scale. And the second value will be target. So, we're using projection, and we're multiplying that with scale. And we're putting the values in a target. If target wasn't here, and it was just scale, all the new values would go into projection. So, let's go ahead and set the uniform to target instead of projection. And we should still have the same effect. And 
to fix our texture being upside down, go ahead and in the ortho 2D, make the bottom negative and the top not negative. So the third value should be negative 480 divided by two and the last value should be positive 480 divided by two. And this should fix everything else. So, I'm going to go ahead and scale this up a little more. 64 should be good. And now we have finished implementing all of the math we need. And as a little exercise, try to translate our box a little to the right. And I'll see you next video.